Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Isaac Salinas. Salinas was shot and killed on Saturday, October 25th, 2008 in the 13,000 block of Raven Street in Silmar, according to LA County Coroner Records. Juan Manuel Juarez was subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. At defendant's trial, evidence was introduced that one night in 2008, defendant Juarez, Jose Padilla, Eric Rodriguez, and one or two other men drove to the victim's house. Padilla was angry because the victim was dating Padilla's sister. Defendant who drove parked the car so that it blocked the victim's brother's van in the driveway. According to the victim's brother, Padilla got out of the car and demanded that the victim's brother tell him if his sister was there. The victim's brother told him his sister was fine, but Padilla retrieved the shotgun from between the front driver and passenger seats in the car. Defendant Juarez was standing outside the car by the driver's side door. Padilla pointed the shotgun at the victim's brother and threatened to shoot him. At that point, the victim came out of the house. Padilla pointed the shotgun at him and demanded to see his sister. The victim tried to hide by getting to the street, but defendant Juarez blocked his path. Unable to get to the street, the victim turned and Padilla shot him in the abdomen, killing him. When the victim's brother tried to take the shotgun from Padilla, defendant Juarez hit the victim's brother on the head with a heavy object. Padilla shot at the victim's brother but missed. Defendant Juarez pushed Padilla into the car and they drove off. The victim's brother drove him to the hospital, where he died the following morning. Solomon Riley, the deputy medical examiner who conducted the autopsy, determined that the victim sustained a single fatal gunshot wound to the left side of his torso. Rodriguez, one of the men who went with Padilla and defendant Juarez to the victim's house that night, testified that Padilla said they were going there to get his sister and that Padilla was upset. However, there was no discussion that Padilla planned to shoot the victim. According to Rodriguez, when they arrived, Padilla got out of the car with the shotgun. Padilla was mad, and when the victim came outside, the victim ran around the car. Padilla shot the victim. Then when the victim's brother tried to take the shotgun from Padilla, defendant Juarez got out of the car and joined the struggle for the shotgun. When they were driving away, defendant Juarez called Rodriguez a bitch for failing to help. Rodriguez also said defendant Juarez had been trying to get jumped into the gang. Rodriguez was a reluctant witness who only testified because the prosecution granted him full immunity. Afraid someone was going to hurt him and his children, Rodriguez initially ignored the subpoena and only came to court to testify after a bench warrant had been issued. Following the trial, the jury found defendant Juarez guilty of second degree murder and attempted murder. The jury also found true the firearm enhancement as to both counts. In January of 2010, the court sentenced defendant Juarez to a total term of 24 years to life. Jose Padilla fled and has not been arrested. Isaac Salinas was 22 years old at the time of death. 